Greetings Iron Man fans. As you can see, time for another Iron Man gadget. Another Iron Man arm. This time it is, it's not a laser. It's uh, the rocket. And yeah, you can fire it. I will show you later. And uh, before I forget, don't ask how, just enjoy the video. I will, I will explain as much as I can and show you as much as I can. But uh, it's really too dangerous for 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 detailed uh, how to uh, tutorial. It's just uh, insanely stupid as always. And uh, I hope you understand. And uh, yeah, I will just show you a bit of uh, how it works. Last time I um, I didn't show you how it's activated here on the on the palm section, which is very open and very unfinished. But I uh, that's that's I did this on purpose. Like in the first movie when he when he was. Uh, Trying the repulsor beam in his shop, you know, just a, a rig and frame on his arm and skeleton like, and I wanted it to look like that. And I achieved that pretty well. It's and, and you need your fingers for, for this up and down and up and down. So the, the button is hidden under this, under this panel right here. And so you need your fingers to activate it. It's uh, the safest way I could think of, and if you want it to be safe. Because this is really, it's, it's really a rocket. It's not a toy. It's not a, it's not a, 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 a fake. It's really a rocket, and it goes off. And you want it to be as safe as possible. So uh, yeah, let's see what we have here. Up and down again. I, I, I already feel like Homer Simpson in his hospital bed. Up and down. You could do this all day. It's so funny. And up and down. So. Let's take a look at the main character. Uh, it's oh yeah, there is a an aiming laser, which is uh, only on when it's uh, when it's when it's up. No, see, no laser. It's for the safety. Like I said, the rocket is a real rocket, so you want to have a direction where you fire it. It's not for for aiming. It's really just for safety to. Uh, to let you know it's armed and ready to fire and you have a, a, a slight idea where where the rocket is going and we will see later if this if it even works I don't know yet so yeah let's take a look at the at the main character it's a regular model rocket you can buy them in kits uh, along with the motors and it's 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 a bit bigger than in the, in the last Iron Man 3 movie because you know it's a movie and this is reality and it's a working a working rocket, so it's really as cool as hell, no matter what you say. And uh, yeah, I tried to let it look a bit like you know matching the matching the Iron Man style. I, I didn't want it to paint it red because it would look like a toy, in my opinion. So I, I decided to uh, give it a nice um, dark gray metallic look with some gold accents. Even the even the gold is a bit too fancy, but I just it's just you know it's Iron Man, so what the hell. And the paint on the gauntlet it's six or seven layers of paint so it really was a lot of work uh, to uh, um, put this on it's uh, primer and filler and a lot of sanding and then the white base coat chrome base coat two layers of red and the high gloss clear coat and yeah the, the, it's, a, it's just a regular candy red very very nice very fine not not so sparkly not so uh, sparkly looks cheap and uh, this is really just the fine particles and yeah the gold the gold is not glossy it's matte just like in Iron Man 3 I like the contrast I always do that on, on a lot of my projects to you know to give a little a little depth and, and, and detail glossy and matte just you know to have a a bit more to look at and uh, yeah that's it for the paint and for the gauntlet what you see here is uh, <clears throat> not taken from any movie. It's just a uh, um, solution for a problem I had. Uh, those gauntlets, they wobble on your arm and move and, and slip around. And yeah, to, <coughs> to make sure this ain't gonna happen, I uh, put that knob on just on, like on the last one. You turn it and uh, it will snap in place and lock. And the release is behind this uh, panel on the inside, so you flip it back open and close. And that's about it. Not original, but needed. So uh, 
Yeah. The knob. Uh, just because uh, no, uh, I don't like to uh, waste space, I installed a palm laser just like the last times, just for the um, <coughs> boom effect. Uh, blue laser, powerful enough to burn stuff, and yeah, just to make sure the laser freaks are, are satisfied, like myself, and uh, yeah, that's it.